Hello, my name is D, Jojo the Awesome, and welcome to episode one of Create Arcane Engineering. This is a 118 Create mod pack featuring Create 0.5.1. I am way overly excited for this. Check it out. Look at all the chapters of progression that we have access to. There are tech mods, there are magic mods. You're going to know obviously create, thermal, ars nouveau. Uh there's a ton more. I I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm going in relatively blind. I'm so excited. So if you're new, I am very happy to have you. And if you're coming off of my above and beyond playthrough, you are going to recognize some similarities in the initial chapters. But don't worry, tons of new content awaits all of us in this pack. Lots of magic mods and, of course, an updated version of Create. So steam engines, trains, and all the little lovely features that we were missing. You can see I've already been given like a billion books in my inventory. There is a lot going on in this pack. And I think I just completed the first little mini quest, uh, if I remember correctly, for chapter zero. Yes, there is a chapter zero. So we can go through. This will like give us some guides and stuff. You can see it wants us to uh, find ourselves some machines, create our first andesite machine. Uh, so there's a lot going on in this pack. I'll do my best to explain as I go, but I am just excited as you guys are. I also think in the main progression page, yeah, we can check this and get all of these super duper useful items to start us off with. Uh, we have ourselves a backpack, one of the sophisticated backpack backpacks. This is a quest book. Who needs it? I have a keybind. Ooh, some cube JS sushi. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, these Atlas books. These are cute. Hmm. I don't think they work very well with the uh, <laughs> with the shaders, which speaking of, pretty, pretty shaders. Oh, a vein mining book. That's nice. Yes, this this pack comes with pretty, pretty, pretty shaders. Um, I don't know how long I'll be able to keep the pretty, pretty shaders on, but I do want to. I think they're really beautiful. The pack comes packaged with them. I, I you know, I want to play the pack as is, uh, so we'll see. But I have heard that as you get further into the whoa, 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 that was cool. Uh, as you get further into the pack, you might get some lag. Well, while I'm chopping this really, really tall tree, let's get into our goals for this first episode. And it's pretty much to get through this chapter. Ah! This chapter zero, right? Um, I, I want to get through this. We do obviously have access to chapter one, but there is a lot of automation stuff here. Chapter zero is going to help us out in, you know, we want to pick up some resources, some basic resources, some basic machines, some less basic machines, but all things that we are going to inevitably need to get through each of the actual progression chapters. And just so you know, this is a very new pack, so there are going to be instances where, you know, you have missing textures or bugs or crashes, and don't worry, the developers are constantly and actively updating this amazing pack, so any, any problems that arise will be fixed. And of course, to get through Chapter Zero, I, we just got to play Minecraft. Wow, that is such a cool mod. I have no idea what adds that. What adds, like, the tree leaves falling around you. That is so interesting. Although, I wonder if the mechanical saw is going to cause that. I certainly hope not. I certainly hope not. But I think we should be okay. Also, is there, like, a proper backpack slot for this? <gasps> Ooh! <gasps> oh, are we cute? Oh, God, we're cute already. I love it. Oh, nice. We can open it with a keybind. Oh, that reminds me of my Vault Hunters days. And uh, what are you? Are you? Oh, you're, you're leaves. Okay, you're just leaves on rock. All right. So this pack has Oh, the Biomes You'll Go in it. Ooh, and apparently it has the Pretty Achievements mod in it, too. Look at that. Oh, I'm, I'm so overly... I'm going to try to be so productive in this episode. I swear I'm going to try. But everything is so new and shiny and amazing. And my computer hates me for running these shaders. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see. But I, I'm, I'm just so excited to be having a new adventure with you guys. So thank you for tuning in. So our initial goals are definitely going to be getting this andesite alloy. That's basically the basis of everything. So we need to find either these mineral chunks or diorite and andesite uh, and that will get us andesite alloy and eventually andesite alloy will get us to the um what do you call them these kinetic mechanisms these are rather makeshift oh look at that okay so you can make a makeshift mechanism 
which can't be upgraded but can be used for machines and you can see if we need a saw we need a lot of andesite alloy and any amount of uh, strip logs we could also use some mixing to make it automatic but so we so we have a pathway right we need to get this andesite and this diorite potentially some crystallized mineral we need to get ourselves our, our basic materials uh these are just infographics about each of the magic mods i'll read through that on my own time uh and then of course we want to get our standard machines and in order to get that andesite and diorite there is a machine or a little item that we can make that will help us locate those kinds of resources but we need an iron ingot to do it so we either have to explore the world and find some iron um which is probably the e you know what's probably the easiest way to do things is actually just exploration rather than caving i bet i bet that's the best way to do it and you know what i want to see what this beautiful world looks like as i put on my exploring pants and we get to moving ooh, source berries I think that's important for Ars Nouveau, and that is not a mod that I want to get into late. Or it is a mod I want to get into early, because I think you get like a cool magic book and you can become a wizard or something. It's phenomenal. Um, ooh, I think that's a villager over there. So something we do around here to my new folks is a Q&A of the day where you can join the Discord, link in the description, and submit questions that you may have for me. And I'll answer one of them in each of our Let's Play episodes. And today's Q&A of the day is coming in from the true baguette god themselves. What is, is this oil? That's kind of neat. Uh, they are asking, uh, how do I make my thumbnails and where do I get inspiration for them? Uh, oh, wow, there's so many eggs over here. What the heck? Um, I make them in Photoshop, and as far as inspiration for thumbnails, I don't know. I, I mean, to be fair, it, it's kind of a, it's kind of I bash my head against the wall looking at an image for a little while, and then eventually I come up with an idea. Um, one of the consistent things is I always have my character in a thumbnail. That's important. If you're looking to make thumbnails, always have a brand. Have, have, a, have a style of thumbnail that's recognizable to you. That's going to be super helpful in growing an audience. Oh, it does appear to be turning nighttime, so I think I'm going to kick this villager out of their bed. Look at all these achievements. I'm so good at Minecraft. I'm so good at Minecraft. <laughs> Whoa, I feel cool. What? Water breathing. <gasps> That's interesting. The sushi gives me water breathing. Sick. It also seems like there's Farmer's Delight in this pack, which is phenomenal. I love Farmer's Delight. I'm definitely going to try to get into Farmer's Delight a lot earlier than I did with my Above and Beyond series. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty the water is. I, I do like these shaders a lot. I love these shaders. These are very pretty shaders. Oh, is this just like a regular... This is just a vanilla structure that spawned... Oh, a buried treasure map. Augment spells when used... Okay, sure. I'll, I'll take an Augmenter's Arrow. Buried treasure maps are actually one of the best ways to find uh, large amounts of iron. Whoa. Whoa, is this like a volcano? <gasps> is this like a volcano biome? Uh-oh, whoa. Oh, the, hey, that's good if we need magma blocks for something. I, I guess that's good to know. Hmm. That buried treasure is a little uh, underwater. All right. Well, we all know the trick to getting buried treasure, I would imagine. You have to go to 9-9 nine, nine chunk coordinates. That's how you do it. So it should be here if this is the right chunk, and I do have to believe it is. Oh my gosh, there's a single sand block on top of it. Are you kidding me? That is hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Look at that. Look at all this. Ah, oh my gosh. Eat sushi. Water breathing. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I know what that structure is over there as well. Oh, that's amazing. That's a huge create structure. Ooh. Ooh. Also, do you see boat particles? Also, chests. So many loot. So much thing. Ah, oh, we're true pirates of the high seas. What are you? If I recall correctly, this structure is like a create factory. It's full of create mod stuff, I think. I think, I think. Yes, look at that. Oh, gosh, I don't have any space for all this. But all oh, the cogwheels, pipes, millstones. Oh, my gosh. Oh, dear. There's so much. There's so much. And then I think there's even more. Look at all this. Ooh. Someone's got some... Uh, hey, why are you... <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Copper boiler? What do you do? All right. Oh, oh, building extended. Okay, those, those are building blocks. Not that that makes them, like, useless or anything close to it. But those are just building blocks. So I'm not, I'm not going to take building blocks. Uh, I wish, I wish there was, I wish there was a toolbox in this building. 
Uh, there's a chest up there, so maybe it'll have a toolbox. No, but it does have a lot of shafts. That's pretty nice. Is there like a press somewhere here? Because if there's a press somewhere in here, I think... Like, I might be able to get my hands on, um, what you call it. Like, enough sheets. Because I think a toolbox is just... Oh, no, a toolbox is string, isn't it? A toolbox... No, it's a small cog, chest, a piece of leather, and some golden sheets. Okay, like, that's so doable. That's so doable. Oh, what's down here? Whoa, what is down here? Hopefully nothing, like, violent. Uh... Is that violent? Are you violent? Oh, you're water. These are interesting. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, okay. So, so there are the cogwheels. We just need the leather. Uh, oh, a smart shoot. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so good. What am I? What am I? Oh, oh, I'm in a vine plant. Hey, buddy. There's so much loot here. I feel like it's all gonna blow me up. A boyerl extractor? Oh my god. What are you? A rending gale? Isn't that a flying thing? Doesn't that make you fly? What the heck? Did I just find, like, the best structure in the entire game? <gasps> what is all this? Runic tablets and dirty bowls. What does a dirty bowl make? A clean bowl and some leaf... Dispel blaze fireball, reflect gas fireball. What? Some of this water is kind of invisible, <laughs> hilariously so. Um, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. I think we need to like base around here. I, th I think at least initially, what is this? We need to just like make a base around here. Pig turtles, freedom on benefits. Self, glide, extend time, harm, delay, harm, delay, harm. Does cloth make bed? No, cloth makes armor. Oh my gosh, there's even more! Train tracks! What? Huh! Okay, we're set. We're set. We're set for life! We're set for life! We just need to secure our position here. Oh, that looks like something as well. Um, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, how do I get out of here? Is there like a way up? Also, do these like connect to something? It doesn't- it doesn't look like they connect to anything. They're just cool levers over there. Whoops! Okay, and I have a little starter base up for us. I just built- it's simple. It's a cute little, you know, we got some chests. Uh, the roof isn't really done because I didn't have the block I wanted, so for now it's just this. I think it's nice. I'm not a builder. I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to building. Our starter base is probably going to end up pretty much ugly and functional, but I ended up planting some proper oak trees around this area, and it's pretty- it's nice, and it's right- next to that big factory so i i want to get started with the factory okay this episode isn't about building anymore it is about the fact that we have just found so much loot uh, i actually found a waystone um back over there somewhere thought i could break it with my pickaxe and destroyed it instead so that's sad and unfortunate uh that's the first monster i've killed apparently but we have so much loot over here i am so stoked Okay, so for starters, all of this stuff, and I don't need the quest book. The quest book can stay here. Um, I, I think there was, yeah, there was some interesting stuff in here, like this lever. Of course, the lever is the most interesting part. <laughs> I've heard that uh, belts have been a pain to make. I have heard that belts have been a pain to make, so that's good to find. Yeah, I definitely recommend if you were playing this mod pack for the first time, uh, explore, find a structure. Maybe this structure directly? I don't know. I don't know what structures we've got going on here. Uh, because this is amazing. Of course, the real treasure seems to be all this stuff down here. That's what I'm really excited about. Um, so let's let's check this out. Because I, I want to give it like a proper look. I know I found it and just got really excited and started kind of just yelling about it. I'm going to pick up all this fluid pipes and copper casing. I think all of this stuff is going to become important. They're all crafting materials or just stuff you use in machines. Okay, so here we're looking at a bunch of supremely useful crate items. Funnels, sails, gantry shafts, smart chute, a fan, more gear shifts, cogs, anti-alley, silver, all that stuff. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are already... We're already... 
like progressing a ton through chapter zero this is a lot of basic create stuff extremely helpful to find the smart shoot especially i am floored that we already have train stuff this thing what it, I, I i really want to see what that thing is they call it a cre a, 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 an andesite loot bag and i think that was something from chapter zero they wanted you to find right a loot box um oh we get a loot box i see i see okay okay now we're getting into this magic stuff this thing seems to make you fly and then kill you right that's what it looks like this is a block of something called an arcane crystal xp fight orbs a helmet a jar of light whatever that is do you place it i don't know an enchanting book that hasn't loaded its enchantment it's just really just enchanting book okay thank you for enchanting book so th this this rending gale this rending gale does it actually let you fly but it says charge zero what do you what do you do to this what do you put inside of this charge the rending gale with feathers to fly that is amazing i think mage bloom mage bloom is interesting oh feathers how do i charge you aha Oh, I didn't realize there were mechanical saws in here. That would have made my life so much easier. That would have made my life so much easier. These guys can chop trees in a very instantaneous kind of way. Nugget of experience, more money, more shafts, more cogs, a piston, a large water wheel, a mundane belt that could also be used for cat crafting crazy stuff. Another weird enchanting book. This thing is cool. This thing is like purple. Does that mean it's really good? Where does this go? Where does this go? Does it go like, is it a... Is it a trinket thing? Do I put you somewhere? No. I guess I hold it. I guess I hold it, but that's amazing. Oh, nice. They even start us off with a hand crank. That's super cool, but I'm, I'm out of inventory space. I guess... Uh... Uh... I shouldn't have brought the iron over. That was foolish of me. I guess torches. Torches are easy. Torches are cheap. So... Whoa! Okay. Oh my gosh. Ho... My gosh, that was so cool. I was about to say, do I just hold right click and then it shot me and then it shot me into the stratosphere. All right, I'm going to make a separate chest for create mod stuff. I, I think that's the right way to go about things. Okay, let's open up this loot box. Whoa, what in the hole? Oh, what? What is this? Deforesting task? Collect 91 mineral logs. And I get 13 silver. Oh. Okay. I'll put you in there, you little buggy boy. Okay, so this is the hall. Uh, that's a ton. That's just a ton. Look at all the stuff. I'm so stoked. A stack of fluid pipes, three mechanical pumps, and case chain drives, my beloved. With gear shifts, clutches, gear boxes, tons of cogwheel shafts, a bunch of andesite alloy, which is amazing. So, um, not to say we're set. But we are doing so good. I'm going to take a mechanical saw as well as a crank so that we can go and chop more trees easily. And I, th I think now is the time to make that weird device I was talking about. It has no texture, unfortunately. Uh, this, this radar thing, right? Yeah, okay. That gives... Why did that complete three quests? <laughs> Right-click the ground to scan for andesite and diorite pockets in the chunk. It might be laggy. That's unfortunate to hear, but uh, still, I want to show off the saw thing. I because I well, I'm curious rather if it works on that big tree, and I need to make myself another axe. I think I threw mine away during the uh, insanity. So for those of you who are relatively new to create, the axe has a really cool ability to chop entire trees, leaves and all, uh, as long as it breaks the last log. If it breaks the last log at the bottom of the tree, it should bring the whole thing down. So, of course, what I'm curious about is, is this the case for these weird modded trees? Oh, it is. That's incredible. Hmm. Not finding anything in these chunks. I might make a nature's compass and then just look for, like, andesite and or diorite caves. What are you? What is that? What is anything? Portal spring. You're so pretty. Hey, that thing's called a starbuncle. I know what this is. They, they can make a cool, like, thing. How do I pick you up? Can I just grab you? Can I just grab you? Yeah, I figured not. Chicken, I need your feathers. Sorry about this. So if my knowledge of this pack is correct, and I have a little bit, I, I you know me, I do a little bit of research before doing anything. 
I think these mineral trees are going to be extremely useful because they're actually going to allow us to double the output of our andesite alloy farm once we kind of get that. Also, oh my gosh, huge clover. That is so cute. Oh, andesite found. Oh, wow, it gives you the coordinates at Y35. Ugh, that's so deep. I don't want to go that deep. I think I'll just make a nature's compass instead. Oh, what did I do? Quest complete. Mineral sapling? <gasps> I got a mineral sapling. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ha, uh, uh, ha. Okay, that scared me a little bit. So, I want this thing to take me home. But I also want to see what that is. I only have eight feathers. Home! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> This is so cool! Oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing in the entire world. The feathers last for so long. Oh, I think I have to collect the mineral logs while this is in my inventory. That's unfortunate. Okay, I thought it was like a universal thing. Too bad. Did I leave my hand crank? Or did I exit? Oh, I think I left the hand crank on the floor. That's sad. Meh. So to make a nature's compass, we actually do need some redstone. So I am just going to do some traditional Minecraft mining. A little Minecraft mining adventure. Simple, fun for the whole family. We all know the deal. Um, I don't think you guys need to watch me mine forever. So I'll be back unless something insane happens. What the heck are you? Stop. Stop. Ars Nouveau, too scary. Is that a spawner right there? That looks suspiciously like a spawner. Oh my. Oh my gosh, it's a spider. Whoa, another backpack. Whoa. Huh? What? Okay, it's fine. We'll we'll inspect these later. What, what does this do? Hold on. This one says fireball, and I like D&D. Oh no, I blew up the chest. What is that? What is that? Oh, I want to go near it. I want to touch it. Oh, it looks like a horrible creature, a horrible being. What is it? Ooh. What are you? Oh. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. I'm going to blow them up. Ha! I've let them free. Epic samurai? A kitsune? What are you? Ah! Were you were you a good guy? No, you attacked me. You're evil. I feel no remorse. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick stop on the mining because we actually found a ton of copper, and it turns out that copper tools are mining level iron, uh, and have a pretty decent harvest speed and all that stuff. So I want to see if we can get into some early game Tinker's Construct, which is something that I know I should do. Uh, you know, trying trying to trying to get better here. Um, oh, I don't I don't have a hand crank. I don't want to use my andesite alley to make one. So let's do some regular, boring vanilla tree chopping uh, to get some Tinker's Construct stuff set up for this. So if I'm correct, you just need a part builder and a tinker station, and that's where we can kind of get into everything we need. Uh, I may as well make a bunch of parts. I guess 10 parts will do for now. Um, to make the copper smelted... Oh, you know how I said I didn't want to make another crank? Well, I don't want to make another crank, but I'm going to make another crank, because the most effective way to do some smelting is... Uh, well, you know what? We have a large water wheel. Never mind. We can just make this guy automatic. Who needs a crank? Make it automatic. So we're going to take our fan, wherever they may be, beautiful. Uh, and I don't know, I'll use decorative shafts. <laughs> uh, and we'll, we'll get ourselves this thing done. Oh, and we get 24 andesite alloy for even having andesite alloy. That is great. That is awesome, actually. You know what? They give you enough to make enough makeshifts machines to make yourselves yeah okay so we're, we're gonna progress real quick i know i get i get so distracted i'm so sorry but we're gonna progress this uh chapter just a little bit more because we can and because we should my main goal is just to get that cool loot box because the last one was really quite good i was actually really surprised at how good it was i thought it was gonna give like a few eh, eh, materials but no, this pack so far has an awesome early game quest book. Super fun early game quest book. Very little grind I'm feeling so far. So that's big, 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 big plus for that. All right, but this is always a big moment. The first, no, shift click. 
the huh oh really you can't shift this recipe in because of the saw what are you are, seriously oh wait no, no no i just i did it wrong i did it wrong that's all there we go okay this is always a big moment the first andesite machine where is my andesite casing come here come here there we go the first andesite machine of the game da, 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 da. there we go and then we should also put i think it wanted a saw no we have a saw a millstone in there as well um what other machines fan we have okay so press and mixer we don't have but we can get ourselves another loot box which excites me i wonder if we'll get more cool machines also look at how pretty that is oh it spins does it spin cogwheels does this produce rotational force? What? Uh, what? What is? What is that even? No. Oh, I see. Haha. <laughs> that's that's a cute way of doing it. It sits too far up on the block. Does it spin like this though? No. All right. That's too bad. I thought that'd be really cool. All right, you sir. Wow. <gasps> oh, it did give us a press. Oh my gosh, so Skystone as well, that's not insignificant, that is not insignificant. Okay, that press is exciting, chain drives are exciting, so happy. A straw! That's good too, for blaze burners. Is that a mechanical bearing? Delicious. So, for ease for now, we are just gonna throw this giant water wheel, uh, one block into the floor, I suppose is where I would really want it, uh, and get some water on top of it. Um, whoops, that's not where I want you. You go there, fan go here, then we'll use, uh, decorative shafts to get the water held. Hey, hey, there we go. Okay, so we have ourselves a fully automatic and infinite item smelter. There's no problems whatsoever. And this guy produces 512 stress units. So eventually we can get this guy moved somewhere so it powers more than just this machine. Um, but it is very slow. It's kind of it's kind of better to use on the encased fan than anything else because the encased fan, it doesn't matter how fast it blows. It'll process everything as fast as anything else. Although these items are actually, you know what? I'm saying it doesn't matter how fast it is. It's very much mattering how fast it is. These guys aren't processing. This isn't this isn't pushing uh, far enough. As I was saying, it doesn't matter how fast this goes. The items will process no matter what. Haha. <laughs> oh, processing by particle. That's the achievement for actually smelting something down. Um, I don't want it to destroy those ingots it just made. Ah, I didn't want to have to do that. Okay. We'll 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 have to be. We'll have to be a little careful. So I don't think you can actually put copper ingots in here. I, th I think you need... Oh, never mind. I thought you needed copper uh, blocks for some reason. So we can make ourselves a copper pickaxe head. And that'll be like the main ingredient uh, of the pickaxe. What are the other things we need for a pickaxe? Okay, we need a binding and a tool handle. I'm just going to do some research to see what the best ones are. All right, we're going to use a wood handle for the cultivated ability, and then we are going to use a stone binding uh, for the uh, stone-y ability, I suppose it's called. What's it called? Stone bound. There we go. It mines faster as it wears out. Uh, and then the wood stuff helps with repairing. And there we go. It has a 210 durability. It's got iron tool mining ability it's got a bunch of upgrade slots ah, I'm, we're not gonna like we don't really have the ability to throw upgrades on this thing but this should be easily repairable i think if we make tool kits if we make copper tool kits which we can do we can repair this just in our inventory which is what's like so cool so i'm just gonna make pretty much all the copper repair kits that i can uh because then we'll be able to mine for a lot longer let's test this out yeah Pretty much just a nice iron pickaxe. It's easy to repair, very cheap to repair even. And repairing even gets a bonus because of the wood. And I believe the deeper we are, the faster this thing will mine. So it's perfect for going for iron, diamonds, or I guess diamonds and redstone, which is what we need. Oh my gosh. What a perfect start.
I just want to use this time to say thank you so much to the members of this channel. They are helping this channel and me become closer and closer to becoming a full-time content creator. So if that's something you'd be interested in, subscribe and become a member.